look to be ruled like this, being ruled by sick people, by mad people, by liars and thieves and criminals. These are the people who are in power in Kenya, in Africa. That is the, 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 the situation we are living in. That is kind of life we are living in. That's why people are dying and nobody cares. People are poor, people are suffering, nobody cares. So I don't know what's the role of the government. I don't know. I want to know today what's the role of the government. To protect the people or to kill the people or to, to make the people suffer. I, I think we have failed our people. The government has failed. Everybody has failed. We have also failed ourselves. I, I, I don't know. My concerns will not allow me to be silent. And it, at any time, at any moment. I don't know whether this is going to come up anywhere, but we must have this debate. We must have, we must have this conversation. We cannot continue living in fear. I see a lot of fear in this country. A lot of fear in the courts. Just yesterday, we saw a magistrate who was shot, shot by a police officer. I, I, I want to speak my dear friends. I want to speak because uh, when you uh, try to tell me to keep silent, uh, my heart is burning. You know, it's burning because of this country. Because uh, for 60 years, we have been living like uh, we are not human beings, like we are half human beings. We are considered like children of a lesser God. Now, this cannot continue. It cannot continue in any way. We are ruled by a minority that does not care for the interests of the majority. Politicians are lies and thieves, and they have stolen our freedom, they have stolen our minds, they have stolen our land, they have stolen our future. Politicians are established in lies and failed promises. We are victims of lies and failed promises, defied hopes and blasted dreams for 60 years. I don't know what will happen. I don't know whether you're going to, say, to sentence me. I'm ready to be sentenced for a hundred years. But I'm going to keep speaking the truth until the day I, I leave this world. We cannot continue living like this. My dear friends, we must resist. Resistance is the only way for this country, for Africa. People are dying everywhere. Even in Congo, people are suffering. And